Hey everyone, my name is Cirque and today we're going to be starting off a new series. We're going to be finally getting into some Pix Arc, some pixelated Arc Survival Evolved and I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty do I'm pretty stoked. Uh, so yeah, this game came out like while I was on vacation, like right once I went on and I was watching people's videos and oh, it looks so good. So we're going to be playing it today. Let's Let's hop on in. And here we are, nice big cavern over there. Okay. Oh, we got a Pocky there, nice. I think uh, our goal today, one of our goals is to tame one of these guys. That one's level two. It'd be nice to maybe get a higher level. Although I don't know if the levels really, from what I've seen, the levels don't mean much right now. Uh, this game is still early access. Um, and it, it seems like there's still some work to do, some balancing to do. Which is sort of strange because, like I said, this is basically pixelated arc survival evolved. It's it's like a voxel-based arc. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure it's made by the same people. So I, I don't really understand why... Like, they, they should already have a lot of this kind of set up. Like, basically the base game set up. Sure, there'd probably be some, uh, some tuning for the different kind of format, but um, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, it is early access, so there's there's uh, some things that need to be kind of balanced and fixed and updated, but uh, it's, it's still looking pretty good. It looks a lot of fun. One thing that would be nice is if, uh, if we didn't get these tutorials every single time we uh, opened up a new world, <laughs> that would be wonderful. Uh, so we're getting lots of experience, just collecting some resources here, leveling up. I'm sure I'm level 5. No, I'm level 4. I should be able to get to level 5 here pretty quickly, just by gathering stuff and running around. Uh, you you kind of breeze through the first few levels. Let's go prone, because of a stupid uh, tutorial. There we go, level 5. Let's punch a tree, because that's how you start these games, right? So, uh, I... I I've always been interested in ARK, like ARK Survival Evolved, the actual ARK game that's been around for a while. Um, I, I did buy it like pretty soon after it was released, but I never really got into it. I never played it uh, very much, um, and I, I never did a series, which I, I had always planned on doing, but just never really got into uh, but as soon as I saw this, I don't know, I guess this is just more my speed. It's a lot less immersive, like actually seeing the, the realistic and textured dinosaurs of Ark was pretty amazing and like it, it was kind of fun being around those, but um, but I guess this just being voxel based is a little bit more my speed. Um, I'm, I'm very used to building and playing in a blocky world and uh, I guess I, it just sort of drew me in the cartoony nature of it all. Anyways, we have leveled up to level 6. Uh, I think at the beginning I'm going to put some points into health and stamina. So that we can run faster and hopefully survive some attacks. I think is a good idea. Yes, I know how to open my inventory. Uh, so... Yeah, we got that, and we also have these engrams. We can unlock recipes to things. We got these engram points that we get whenever we, uh, um, whenever we uh, level up. So I'm gonna purchase some of these things, and uh, we got change view. Yep, I know how to do that. There can't be too much left in the tutorial. I'm just gonna buy some of the stuff that we're gonna need. Uh, leather sleeping bag, a spear, that's why I wanted to get to level 6 so we can get a spear. And let's unlock some of this building stuff because we're going to need those unlocked to unlock the wood building stuff. And then we'll need the wood building stuff to unlock whatever comes after that. Uh, we can craft some tools right away, get an axe and a pickaxe, can make a hat and some gloves. Um, did it actually cancel? No, it didn't. Okay, we do have those things. Put those on, and I think that is it for now. Yep, there is our map. Very cool. We got a quest bot here. What's the quest you're going to give us? 
Uh, craft a stone pick. Okay, we can't do that yet. For a stone pick, we need to be level 10, I think it is, to uh, unlock the recipe. But I want to get a spear right now, and to get a spear, we're going to need some stones. So let's just dig down as you do. Control Q. Yep, there's quest manager. Cool. Let's dig down into the dirt, get some rock. And I think I only need one rock at the moment. Maybe I'll grab a few of them in case I want to craft more spears. I think you can throw the spears. And so it might be a good idea to have more than one. I wonder if they I wonder if they stack. I actually haven't tried that yet. Uh, let's get one more rock. And we might actually need some more wood as well. I think I only broke down the one tree, didn't I? So let's break another. Got some wood now. Craft a spear. Okay, so they do stack. Nice. I'll just craft three of them. Just because. So then I can I can actually throw these. Nice. And then I can I can pick them up and recover them. There we go. Although it says it gave me two of them. But it looks like I still only have three, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Alright. Very cool. I guess we can get into taming. There's some dodos around. I'm not like the dodos aren't super important, uh, I don't think. Most most dinosaurs have some sort of uh what is that? Uh ich, ich, ichthysaurus? Oh it's uh I think those are like dolphins. So I think those are pretty neutral towards you. But uh, I think most dinosaurs have something special about them. Um like they can do a certain thing, like we got the pterodons they can fly around on. Uh, you got these packies, which we're going to actually tame one right now, that you can ride around on. Uh, the fiomas, I think, break. You can use those to break stuff. Um, what else? I think there's, there's like dire wolves that you can uh, ride around on and use them to attack stuff. Uh, parasaurs, which I think we saw some parasaurs, maybe not. They're kind of big green dinos. Those we can tame at like level 10. And they, uh, I think they allow you to get like a bunch of thatch and fiber. So that'd be a good one to get early on. Anyways, this is how you tame as well. You, you basically need to feed them what they like. Uh, which is pretty easy with these early dinos because they're they're passive. You can just walk right up to them, feed these guys berries, and uh, they will eventually tame. So there's a little taming bar down there. Looks like one more berry will will make this guy love us. Um, as for dinosaurs that w are like aggressive and will attack you, you have to actually knock them out, make them unconscious, and then you kind of like force feed them. <laughs> while they're asleep and uh, eventually they'll tame. There we go, we got a Packy and I'm gonna call you uh, Yoshi. So we got Yoshi the Pachysaurus or the Packy. I don't know if they're actually Pachysauruses but they're, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, Alright, so we need to make a, a saddle for these guys but for that we're gonna need leather. I could go kill some Dodos. I think I'm gonna take on this uh, Fiomia though. Uh, they have a lot of health but they're really easy to avoid. Uh, they have a very large turn radius. Oh, my Yoshi defeated him. Wow, that, that was actually a lot faster with, the, with his help. There we go. So let's take out the meat block with our axe. That gave us a lot of leather. Did that give us any meat? We got two meat from that. Okay. Not amazing, but we do have some meat. So now with the leather we can craft some boots and we can craft a packy saddle. Let's put our boots on and let's put the saddle on this guy and let's give him some food as well. So we got a bunch of major berries, we'll just give him that. And saddle. And now we can ride a dino! <laughs> yes! We're riding a dinosaur, how fantastic. Let's uh, take out this dodo, cause why not? Sweet. Uh, and then let's grab the meat cube. I don't think you can harvest the meat cubes with the packy. Some dinosaurs might be able to, but the packy doesn't seem to be able to. 
So we can uh, we can run around on this guy. He also he does have a charge. Uh, I don't think he can turn while you charge. But he just runs very fast in a straight line. Kind of getting into some dangerous territory over here. So I think this is this is swamp. Yeah, this is the swamp. Uh, we start out in the novice grassland, which is. Basically a grassland, but even easier than a normal grassland. You, you don't get uh, copies and coyotes spawning in here. It's basically just passive mobs. So this is a good place to start out and stick around. Um, also, if you die, you, you can respawn and you drop in. Uh, you can respawn in a random location. The, there's rally points all around the world, and they're all novice grasslands. Um, and to start out, it's a good idea to just hang out here and build up stuff here uh, so that if we do die, we can we can come back here pretty easily and get to our stuff. Uh, I'm looking around to see if there's any fireflies. Fireflies are a good thing to get right away because they you can actually use, as, use them as just a, a passive light source. But I'm not seeing any. That's very disappointing. All right, well, what do we want to work on? What level are we right now? Level seven, we can up our stamina here. So level seven, that unlocks some wood stuff. We have the hut DIY, decoration hut. Those are just like crafting stations for building things. We got some wood building blocks. All right, pretty cool. I guess we could we can try and find a spot to set up to build. I don't see anything super interesting around here because we, we don't want to be by the edge over there not to start off with uh, we're just we don't have uh, good enough weapons or strong enough dinos oh there's another crafting thing over here I thought this was the same one but no we do have a different one our packies following us that's good I did I got off the packies so I could grab resources while I was running through here so let's do that um, I do have, I got five meat. I suppose we could go make a, um, a fire here. So what is this quest? Craft a stone pick? No, kill a Fiomia. Oh, we can do that. I've done that already. Where is, uh, where is the Fiomias? I think we'll stay off the packy and just let it help. Because then we can do double the damage instead of riding on... Oh, I can't grab stuff, that's right. If you have the spear out, you can't grab things. Alright. Let's go kill a packy. And I'm gonna grab some flint as well. You can get flint from these blocks. It's like a gravelly block. Get some flint from there and you need that to make a campfire. And actually, I'm gonna build a campfire right away as well. We can get some of our food cooking while we go attack this Philo. Or Fiomia, or whatever it is. Uh, Alright, craft. What else do we need? Oh, we need more wood. Well, I can do that. Do that. Now we can craft this campfire. Um, put that down here. Put that on the ground. We can put some thatch in there to as fuel. Uh, and then light fire, that's what I'm looking at. And then we can click on this, craft all five. So that'll start uh, cooking up our meat. And I guess we can uh, we can start attacking this guy. What level is he? Level, level one. So he shouldn't be an issue. He did get a, a hit on us there. Oh, we did it. We did it. We killed, oh, wait. It doesn't say. It still says zero out of one. Why would it say zero out of one? Is there something else to that quest? Kill a Fiomia to prove you're a good hunter. Kill a Fiomia. Maybe, did my Packy kill it? I wonder if that's why. Uh, we can stop him from attacking things. So cycle aggression to passive. So he should be passive now. Does it say on here? It doesn't say right below his name at all. Okay. Uh, let's take a look in the fire. And we should be able to 
Did we not? Yeah, we got some more meat. Yeah, craft all seven. There we go. And we can take all of those. Am I hungry right now? Yeah, I could eat. Let's uh, let's eat. So we just have to hit six. Oh, why did the fire go out? Um, access inventory. Did it burn up all that thatch, or did we take the thatch or something? What's going on here? It's not doing anything. <laughs> Craft all five. There we go. Is it working? It's working. Okay, let's just leave that alone. And let's go kill a Fiomia. So, you're level 12. Let's see how long this takes without... Oops, I'm sorry. You need to, uh... I should have... Oh, I should have made him sit somewhere else. Alright. Don't... Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, I'm getting... I'm getting pinned. No! Oh, I'm getting trapped. Okay. Uh... He's, he's trapping me. Okay, we need to get behind him. And try not to hit our Fiomia. This is not going as well as I had hoped. There we go. Okay. Nice open grassland. There we go. <laughs> uh, the uh, the movement in this game is a little bit difficult just because it is a voxel based game so you have blocks that you have to like jump up onto. I kind of wish they made it where you could just run up blocks kind of like dinosaurs can rather than having to actually jump up onto blocks. There is an auto jump feature but it, it still makes you jump onto them and with auto jump what happens is actually do I have auto jump on? Yeah I do. <laughs> So you get up to the block and then you jump straight up. Whereas if you just jump, you can move a lot easier. So we got the quest complete. Awesome. Let's grab... Oh, so much meat. We got 10 meat there. We're going to be... Actually, we probably won't be fed for days. Because uh, I'm sure this stuff will spoil before we can eat it all. Let's craft all that. Let's grab our meat. And we're kind of hungry. What number do I have that on? Six? We're also a little bit thirsty, so I think I'm going to go over this way and get in the water. So to drink, you just get in water and you press E and that will drink. Pretty simple. You can also craft, um, there's, there's a water bag I think and then there's a, a canteen or something as well. So we can turn in the quest and I think this guy days around here oh but you can do a quest every single day so we can come back here tomorrow and there should be a new quest and in here we have privilege certificate extend soil privileges for a certain amount of time so I, I think that's for multiplayer <laughs> I'm fairly certain uh, like can I can I use this what if I no. I don't even know like what this is used for, how you would use it. It's, uh, I don't know. Kind of a lame reward. You can get better rewards. Uh, I have seen. Where is our Packy? Did, it, did our Packy fall down somewhere? Yeah, he's down there. Okay, nothing dangerous down there before we go jumping in. Let's get on you. And uh, let's explore this little canyon here. Oh, there's a firefly. Yes. Let's go get it. Alright, so fireflies are super easy to tame. So we can feed you a Tinto Berry. Which, by the way, it will feed the dinosaur, whatever you have, or the animal, whatever you have in your last slot, your zero slot. So we got berries there. And I'm going to call you Serenity. Serenity. There we go. Perfect name. And the great thing about fireflies is you can pick them up. Uh, there's a few animals that you can pick up, the smaller ones, like the uh, the bunnies as well. There's a little bunny over here. You can pick them up and put them on your shoulder. Uh, and with the fireflies, they actually give off light, so it's basically like carrying around a little flashlight. Uh, which is awesome. And let's get this guy out of here. Alright. Let's, uh, have I found anything interesting yet? Any uh, places I would like to build? It all looks pretty pretty similar. There's not a whole lot going on here and it's a pretty small biome. So I'm not sure. I guess we'll just set up 
Definitely not an interesting place to uh, to build our eventual base. We'll have to find uh, something a bit more interesting, which will be difficult because I am right now. I am I'm very terrified of any other biomes, honestly, uh, than the novice grassland or the grassland. Everything else is uh, is a pr is pretty scary. Although over there, that looks pretty nice. I think that's swamp, that little island. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, there's another dolphin guy in there. This guy's stamina up yet? Is this guy leveled up yet? Can I... I wonder. I think to level up your dinos, you have to actually get off them. Then you can access their inventory, and nope, no level up. Alright, he's getting close though. 9.4 out of 10. They level up a little bit slower than, than I do. Ooh, is that a frozen biome across the way over there? That's pretty neat. Woo, I just got to level 10. I was just clearing out an area here, which means we can unlock some more stuff. Uh, there's, ooh, wooden spikes, wood spike wall. Make our place really safe. A bunch of other wooden building things. Cooking pot, I think that's gonna be pretty good. Mortar and pestle. Stone pickaxe, oh, stone axe. Let's get that. What else can we get? We could uh, we could check out a bed. Um, slingshot would probably be good. Oh, parasaur saddle. I don't have enough engram points. No, I need nine. Oh, that's disappointing. All right, uh, we can do a couple more levels. We'll just add some more to our health and stamina at the moment. All right, can we can we make a stone pickaxe? Uh, I was going to start building, but if we could uh, do this quest, that'd be pretty awesome. So what do we need for that? We got stone pickaxe here. We need two rocks. We have one already. And we're going to need two for the, uh, for the axe as well. So let's grab some more rock and craft the pickaxe right away so we can grab the rock more easily. Uh, craft stone pickaxe. Awesome. Uh, let's. I wonder if I can. Like, can I do something with my old pickaxe, or is it just something to be tossed away? Oh, a little bit faster. Not definitely not a huge upgrade, but it's a little bit faster. Get some rock here. All right, and then we should be able to craft an axe as well. Get that upgraded. Very cool. And I think we'll go turn in the quest, and that might be the end of this episode. So we got our quest bot over here. Manufacture expert. We did it. So we got a chest, and it's more privilege certificates. Fantastic. I love it. <laughs> oh, that's so lame. Why? 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 Whatever. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed another er, uh, the first episode here of Pixar. Um, next episode, we'll get into the building a bit, and we should be doing a lots of leveling up with that. I guess we could. We actually we got the uh, Parasaur saddle, or we can get the Parasaur saddle once we get enough engrams, as well as the Fiomia saddle. So it might be good to try and tame those guys and uh, get a few more dinos. But we'll see you next time. Goodbye, folks.